so we have a new Max Ace knife here, the Max Ace Meerkat in S90V, and it's actually a great EDC size for most people. Um, the price is really good at like $158, $160, but there is one huge problem. We're gonna get to it here in one second. The blade shape is almost a harpoon, but you know, it's basically a drop point. The reverse flick is really good on this, has a really nice sound. I'm not sure if it'll come over the mic, but it sounds really good. The, um, the access to the lock bar, they could have cut it back farther, but what they did was they put this very comfortable jimping on there, so you can basically just push your finger right to it, and it's nice and comfortable. So no complaints there at all. Um, so disengagement's really nice. Detent's a little bit late, but there's no flipper tab, so it, it gets past the, the detent pretty easily. You, know, you just let it hit your finger. Thumb flick is really good. Ergonomics, it's a smaller knife, especially for Max Ace, However, even back here, I can get a full four finger grip. It's more like a three and a half, but because this, you know, cants the way it does, my pinky kind of wraps up and around and it works. And then, you know, obviously if I spread out a little bit, I can. Um, so, you know, all in all, ergonomics, fit, finish, tolerances, action, everything seems really, really good. So what is the huge issue? Well, it's not the plunge grind, even though the plunge grind does suck. You know, I wish the plunge grind was a little bit better. Um, obviously, it just hits, <laughs> the plunge grind literally hits the edge. But the real issue is this clip. This is the most impossible clip I've ever felt. And I want to recommend this so bad to you guys. I really do. This is such a good one. I really, really want to tell you guys how awesome this knife is. I, I literally planned on screaming from the rooftops. And then I thought maybe I should toss it in the pocket just in case. And I try to, <laughs> I can't get it in my pocket for the life of me. Now, this is not even my thick jeans right here. And it's literally impossible for me even if I pry up on the clip, I don't even want to, it'll just hurt my nail. This thing is just too tight. It's impossible, impossible to get that. I mean, you can see it. How would it ever go in there? There's no ramp. But what I would recommend is just get the black mirror. You can get this for like $142. I'm not sure if the Max Ace site has them, but I can link them from, from, um, from one of the sites. So I will have it linked down in the description. This one's M390 for like 142 bucks and very ergonomic, really good reverse flicking action. This is probably about the best you, you could get for around 150 bucks. Um, you know, there's a couple other knives. I'm actually gonna put together a whole video of $150 knives, but this one's really awesome. The Black Mirror. And yes, the clip works great. So either one, you have to just drop it in your pocket, to take it apart and take off the clip because the clip is screwed in from the inside. Or three, maybe slip it or maybe modify it. That's the only other thing I could think of is modify it. Yeah, maybe, you know what? I bet if I ground off a little bit underneath that hump, it would actually work decently well. But man, such a good knife. Uh, and I even contacted Max Ace and told them like, man, what happened? How did this leave the factory? Like, how did you guys not ever try to put the clip in, a, in any sort of pocket whatsoever, just to make sure it works somewhat? Even, <laughs> cause this thing doesn't even somewhat work. It's mind blowing to me how, how bad the clip is. Um, but, you know, and I know that kind of, you know, I, I paid for this, by the way. They did not send this to me. I paid for it, you know, because I really honestly was expecting to recommend it to you guys. And, uh, yeah, I guess it's just one of those things, you know, call it a loss. Uh, but um, lots of machining on the inside. They do send extra hardware. Too bad they didn't send an extra clip. <laughs> they do send extra hardware and everything, which is really nice. But, um, yeah, man. Ugh. 
you know, if you're the type that likes to just drop your knife in your pocket, because a lot of people do, you know, and this almost would fit in the fifth pocket. Maybe it's a little bit large for that. Um, just for a quick size comparison, a lot of you guys got the cubit right now. It's about the size of the cubit, you know. Um, so, you know, that's a good size reference. The cubit is a little bit more ergonomic because it doesn't show you where to put your fingers. But, you know, this is still very comfortable. You know, you're just choked back just a little tiny bit. But you can always choke up. Um, like I said, all in all, man, I really, really like this knife. And I really, really <laughs> want to tell everybody about it. But the only thing I can uh, tell you is, you know, beware of the clip. Um, also, you know, I also have like a $10 discount code through the Max Ace site. And Max Ace has a lot of other stuff, you know. So, you know, this isn't like the only thing. And they have a lot of great stuff. So let me be clear. Even that new, um, what's it called? That new Karambit is pretty awesome. That's really cool too. And that's in Magna Cut. Somebody was asking, how did they get Magna Cut? I thought China didn't have any Magna Cut. No, I think it's just China can't get any large amounts of Magna Cut to make it worthwhile for a lot of production companies. So they probably just got a small batch of it, did so many knives, you know. And then that's it. And once they're done, they're probably done, at least with it, with that steel. Um, yeah, man, solid detent. Everything's so good on this, but there you guys go, man. Work hard, stay tough. You know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.